I suppose you two think you're real smart. How much did it cost you to get out of that? It's a fair hearing you didn't have a case. We're really sorry about your dog, but me and my partner, we just got reprimanded. But he said we call it square. Forget it, sunshine. I'll get square all right. But my own way. Hey, killer. Hey, killer. Hey, boy. Steve, look. I think he's been poisoned. Nice work, Chris. Uh, money in the bank. OK, touch. You know, good result here. Could be brilliant for the clinic. It could be brilliant for this guy, too. I always did think his ears stuck out. So, well, uh, when are we going to get that second theatre? Not sure, Chris. Thought I'd just play it by ear. <laughs> Actually, a few more of these, it'll be in the bag. Well, maybe we can talk him into having a nose job as well. Hmm. Well, that's certainly where I would have started. Touch. Is it better work? Well, I don't see we have any alternative. Are you sure we wouldn't be better off waiting until theatre's free? I've done trackies under worse conditions than these. Ready? Scalpel. OK, let's do it. Mitchell's revenge. I agree. He's made threats before, you know, but nothing like this. Hello. About time, mate. I got here as soon as I could. Look, what's the trouble? He's been poisoned. He had that piece of meat. Oh, look, put the meat in a plastic bag. We'll get it analysed. Trevely. He's diabetic on insulin. Oh, look, I'll have to take him back with me. Is he going to live? Oh, we'll see. Uh, nicely done. Thank you. You weren't so bad yourself. Well, I've had plenty of practice. Ah, but you're not in Guatemala now, Dr. Opata. Well, I might as well be. Can't get an operating theatre over there, either. I'll get him into recovery pronto. We'll special him there. Hey, good work. Thank you. Ready? Well, it's not on, you know. Putting him at risk to some media ponce can get a quick nip and a tuck. Come on, honey. Paying customers first. Well, I just hope they're having fun. You reckon they're straight? Oh, they look pretty good to me. One matching set of non-sticky outy lug holes. Yes, I think the future of the clinic is in safe hands. Why, thank you, Doctor. Chris pretends to be a bit of a rebel, but scraps the surface and underneath lurks the old school tie. <laughs> Not that he'd admit to that. Well, if he turns up, ask him. He'll deny it till he's blue in the face. Ah, uh, if he turns up. Well, when he does, do you guys fancy dinner? The, the four of us could go and hit a restaurant or something. Oh, I wouldn't hold your breath. Chris has got more important things to attend to, like pointless surgery on TV stars. <laughs> Caring for the poor and needy has always been Chris's big thing. Oh, he's just the Mother Teresa kind of guy. <laughs> No, oh, well, I suppose I'd be going. Oh, me too. Um, I've got to head up to the old ancestral pile. Oh. Something's ruffled mother's feathers. <laughs> and so the party ends. So the party ends. Hey, I'll see you guys later. Bye, Jay. See ya. Why don't you come with me? To the Warner House? Yeah. Uh, your father and I don't get on very well. <laughs> don't worry. Nobody but nobody gets on with my father. I promise you'll get out in the same condition you arrived. Guaranteed? No. But I'll leave lots of notes telling the police where to look. Oh, I've always wanted to meet Lady Margot. Lady Margot? Call her that to her face and she'll slap you around the ears. <laughs> yep, here they are. Well, you sure that's everything? Because I've got to get this key back to Jenny. Yep, that's it. You know, none of this would have been necessary if you hadn't raced away so quickly. Mum, I said I was sorry. I was upset about Miles. Of course. Oh, I just can't understand it. Why would he do a thing like that? Kill himself? I don't know. Good family, education, everything. Yeah. What a waste. Perhaps he just needed a friend. Perhaps he couldn't see any other way out. Oh, nonsense. I mean, no matter how difficult things get, you've got to put your faith in the Lord and soldier on. Mum, it's not as simple as that. 
Oh, I know people laugh at it, but it's what I truly believe. Yeah, well, he made his choice, okay? Can we leave him alone? But did he think about those he left behind when he made his choice, his family? Will you stop it? You even the faintest idea what was happening with Miles. Stuart. Nah, it can happen, okay? People can get just pushed too far. It can happen to anyone. What a morning. I came in mentally prepared for bunions and sore throats. Which is exactly what you got. Hey? Oh, yeah, right. I suppose I did. <sighs> How is he? Half asleep. Not 100% comfortable, but I think he'll be fine. Good. So, have the glamour boys finished an OR then? Or just in case there's a nose job or something? Now, that's a bit harsh. How's that? Two cases needing theatre. It doesn't happen that often. Well, it happened today. True, but we got through it. You two should work together more often. Things to do. Yeah, me too. Well, here's to the first of many. I'll second that. <sighs> nice work, by the way. Oh, thanks. It was just a pity he demanded total secrecy. How's that? Well, it wouldn't hurt for the world to know. Oh, I'm sure our satisfied customer will spread the word amongst those near and dear to him. True, but there is a wider audience. And uh, perhaps, just perhaps, if, uh, if something got out, something along the lines of cosmetic surgery to the rich and beautiful... Yes, I don't think that would be quite ethical. They'd be banging at the doors, waving their platinum cards. Oh, yes, but we have a duty to maintain confidentiality. But no-one has to know where the leak started. No. One word of this gets out, and I will come down on the head of the person involved so hard... Oh, oh yes, yeah, sure. It was uh, just an idea. Mm. Ah, cheers. Thanks for the help. My pleasure. Oh, well. On my head be it. Oh, hello. You off to see Michael? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, about the rosters. Oh, anything I should know about? No. Oh, well, you picked the right time to see him. He's in a good mood. Listen, I've told you enough already. All right, yeah. Oh. Oh. Hi. You're in here to see the big cheese? Yeah, you too. Yeah. Anything to do with what I think it's about? Yeah. You know we're on the same side. Yeah, on this anyway. Yeah, on this. United Front and all that? Yeah, as we could. Well, he's got to know what we think. All right, then. Let's do it. Yeah, right, come. OK, see you. Got to go. Bye. Of course my patient wasn't more important than yours. Well, thank you for admitting that much. But when I started the operation, there was no emergency. I mean, what do you want me to do? Leave the theatre free on the off chance somebody gets stung by a bee? We had a patient who was going to die while you were doing elective surgery. And you cope brilliantly. Crisis over. Not the point. And what if we hadn't? You're the one who's always on about publicity for the clinic. How would we look then? Listen, I agree. It should never have happened, but it didn't. We can't change that. Well, we want to make sure it doesn't happen again. Neither do I. But in my opinion, I took every precaution possible. I booked the theatre for what is usually a quiet time. He wanted it done on the weekend. I almost lost the job because I said, no, that's when we need the operating theatre clear for emergencies. We were lucky. So you're going to continue with the cosmetic surgery? Can't afford not to. So how do we avoid being unlucky in the future? By building a second theatre. Well, that'll give us a few more options. How soon? No, as soon as the board approves funding, which will be as soon as we do more cosmetic surgery, give them the results they want. <laughs> it's the devil you got to sell your soul to. We've still got to find a way of coping in the interim. We will. Priority number one. In fact, why don't you two work something out? You should be able to come up with a couple of viable options. Look, we will solve the problem, but in the meantime, give yourselves a pat on the back, congratulate yourselves for a job well done. We'll talk again later. Still examining him. Couldn't really say much more. I mean, Sarah's gonna be devastated if that dog dies. It's not my fault. Oh, no, it's not, man. Look, you did the right thing. Walsh's dog would have killed that cat otherwise, you know? Yeah, I suppose. We should go around to his yard and clob the hell out of the jerk. Nah, look, just leave it. He'll only do something else. That's true. Maybe we should go to the cops. We haven't got any proof. 
They must be able to do something. Yeah, well, we can hope Walsh will go running over yelling, it was me, it was me. Sure. I'll tell you one thing, man. If killer dies, it's a different story. Oh, thanks for that. Oh, no problem. How's Stuart? Oh, he's not taking it well. But mind you, it's a terrible business. Must be awful for the Lucas family. Mm. Mrs. Lucas must be going through hell. You know, it's communication, that's what it is. You try your best, but once they reach their teenage years, they lose touch so quickly. Mm. But you've got to keep trying, especially now, before it spreads. Before what spreads? Copycat suicides. I read an article about it. Once one of them does it, some of their friends do it too. I know. I'm a little bit worried about Nick. Mm? Well, he's even harder to talk to than usual, and he spends hours in his room. Oh, same with Stuart. But you don't need to worry. You do a brilliant job. <laughs> Me? Yes, you're always there, ready to listen. It's good to see. That's no more than you do for Stuart. Do you think so? He seems pretty well adjusted to me. I hope so. But you never really know, do you? So, what do we do now? Just keep going, I suppose. Do you think that's enough? Well, there is strength in numbers. So uh, who's the fat little plunket boy then? Leave that alone. Hey! What about the barrage balloon next to you? <laughs> My brother, the blimp. <laughs> At least Chris didn't whine all the time like you used to. Mother. <laughs> Hello, guy. Mum, mm. I want you to meet Alison. Oh, hello. I wanted. It's very rarely Guy brings a girlfriend to the house. Um, actually, she's Chris's girlfriend. We live together. Oh. <laughs> Alison. Oh, my dear, I do apologise. Of course. Chris has mentioned you. And my husband, too. So what's the problem? The way you sounded on the phone, it seemed pretty urgent. Yes, well, um... Family business. Relax, Mother. Alison's practically family anyway. <sighs> All right. Off to you. It's your university money. You don't want it back, do you? No, no, of course not. I mean, I will pay it back eventually. No, no, it has to do with Chris. What's it got to do with him? He's told your father I've been giving you money for your studio. What? It's all right. You'll still keep getting the money. It's just that Bruce didn't take it too well. He stopped a check for your children's charity. The petty old bastard. He was pretty angry. I could strangle Chris. What the, what the hell's he doing it for anyway? Well, I can find out if you want me to. Oh, no, no. It'll only make matters worse. Oh, sorry. I'm sure Chris didn't mean any harm, dear. Maybe. Look. If it's going to cause problems or anything, I, I can get a loan. No. Money. No, I'll deal with it. I just don't want you getting any more trouble. Promise you'll tell me instantly if he gets all shirty. I promise. Meanwhile, I want a word with Chris. Excuse me. I'll get it. Because you have got this beautiful backyard, which gets full sun, of course, and... Uh... Excuse me, can I help you with something? <laughs> uh, no, we're fine, thank you. Uh, this is private property. Our property. Oh, you're the tenant. Hey, man, this one is going to make it. Oh, right. Yeah. Fresh. Hiya. Hello. You didn't tell me you had visitors there? I didn't. I mean, oh, I... Oh, I'm, I'm from the real estate agents. Uh, the house. It's on the market. It's up for sale. Oh. Honey, we have a visitor. Hey, Andrew, my man, how are you? Oh, OK. Haven't seen you around for a while? Yeah, well, you know, I've been a bit, um... Busy. Yeah. Still, you could have run. No, I suppose I could have. Well, I was, um, going to ring you, but Mum said I shouldn't. Well, we've both been a bit, um... Uh... Actually, mate, uh, me and your mother had a bit of a fight, uh, and that's why I haven't been around. So what? Hey? 
Well, you can still see me, can't you? I mean, you don't have to talk to her or anything. Well, I wish it was easy as that. Look, um, why don't I have a word with Meredith and I'll see what happens. I can't promise anything. Okay. Look, I gotta go. I'm busy. This is easy. Hey guys, how's it going? I want to talk to you. What? We've just been hearing about what a scuzzball you are. <laughs> what have I done now? You told Sir Bruce about Guy getting money from his mother. Yeah, I think I mentioned it. Why? Do you know what he did? He stopped his cheque to her children's charity. She's been humiliated because of you. Me? Look, it's not my fault if the old man behaves like a total scumbag. Well, get real, Chris. You did it on purpose. You knew there would be fallout, only you thought it would come in my direction. I did it to clear the air. The Warners have got more secrets than the royal family. I'm sick of it. What? And so, as a public service, you thought you'd dump Mum and me in it. I thought I could help Mum out. Shame the old man into parting with a few shekels. Just make him pick up the tab. Face it. You can't stand seeing me get a little something you never got. What? Knowing Mum was slipping me cash on the side really got under your skin, didn't it? This is ridiculous. Look, well, if it's any help, I didn't swizzle you out of that much. After all, you're the only one who got a sports car from Daddy. Oh, don't be so juvenile. Maybe you're the one that's been juvenile. And you can stay out of it. It's got nothing to do with you. Nothing you could begin to understand. Hello. Hi. Um, I've just been talking to Andrew. Yeah, I spoke to him before. He says that you told him about you and me having a fight. Well, I just thought um, honesty is the best way to go. Fair enough. I want to keep in touch with him. Good. He'd like that. Male influences and all that. Well, let's not get too carried away. Oh, well, that was wonderful, Jenny. Hey, you would have learned to cook chicken like that. I did cook it. Oh, <laughs> good going, Mr. Nielsen. <laughs> Jenny did all the rest. And very nice it was too. What do you reckon, son? Yeah, it was fine. Well, you could be a bit more th enthusiastic. Tom. What? Nick, you must be looking forward to your father coming back. Yeah, I am. He's working out his notice in Christchurch, then he'll be back up here. Oh, that's good. It's good for families to be together. Oh, I've got something to show you. Presents from the trip. For us? Yeah, there you are. It's for you, Nick. Oh, geez. Thanks, Mrs. Nielsen. I'll treasure it always. Yeah, got it at that little market. Mm. Marvellous bargains. Yeah. Okay. What do you think, Mum? I think it must have been a real bargain. <laughs> it's very similar to the one I got Stuart, but yours is a bit brighter, isn't it? Positively blinding. <laughs> he hates it. No, I don't. <laughs> uh, Nick tells me there are some pretty good movies coming out these holidays. Yeah, I suppose. Is that right, Nick? Yeah, apart from all the vomit-making kids' movies. Oh, Nick! You, um, interested in films, Mrs Harrison? Um, yes, I suppose I am. Why? Just wondered, that's all. The face of a tired man. What a day. You should go home. I intend to. Hey, I'm glad we took on McKenna. Mm. You think it did any good? Probably not, but we'll now see. Amen to that. Does anyone work with him, ever? Don't you hate it when they use flattery to win an argument? Mm. Well, I... Probably should get going. Tomorrow is another day and all that. Well, uh, here we are. Yeah, indeed we are. Look, we haven't been too bright, have we? No, we haven't. You can't shut people out when you're working at such close range. No, I guess not. Uh, look, um, I was just thinking, how about dinner? Yeah, that'd be nice. So does this mean uh, friends again? Guess so. Shake on it. I missed you. I missed you too. I mean, you've left a bit. Oh, sorry. It's all right, I'll do it. Mum, usually go berserk when I do that. No, I don't. You should do. Well, I don't mean it. Look, Mum, I know what this is all about, okay? All what's about, Stuart? This happy, happy dinner and everyone being oh so nice. It's because of what happened in Miles, isn't it? You guys are scared that me and Nick are going to do the same thing. Look, I, I can't speak for Nick, but Mum, don't worry. There's no way I'm going to do anything like that, okay? 
stupid. Oh, thank God. You never have been able to think things through, have you? You know how your father feels. You know how he feels about God. I was trying to shame him into changing his mind. Guilt has never been your father's strongest emotion. Sorry. Oh, well, what's done's done. I can put it right. I'll give the money to your charity. It's quite a lot. Ah, the leftover insurance from the car. It's just sitting in the bank. The car your father gave you? That's the one. There's a certain poetry in that. There you go. Perfect. Oh, and there's another thing. Well, what's that? Guy. What about him? He was very unhappy when he left here. We, uh, exchanged a few... I don't want you two fighting again. I thought brothers were supposed to fight. Not the way you two do. It's this competitive thing. It gets out of hand. It's got to stop now. Do you hear me? Yes, Mother. You should have seen some of the fights we had as kids. Yeah, well, I guess I'm the sort of person who likes to avoid arguments. Well, good luck with Chris. Hey, thanks for sticking up for me before. Oh, he deserved it, the way he told your father like that. Well, don't blame him. He is a product of his upbringing. Dad was really tough on him, so he takes every opportunity he can to get back at him. I never thought I'd hear you defending him. Oh, it's true. Even though Dad hates my guts, he was always a lot easier on me than he was on Chris. Chris envies me for that, I guess. So that's why we have this kind of love-hate relationship. He envies you? Yeah, look, I ran away from it all. He's still trying to fight the good fight. And what about you? What about me? You have your freedom, and so you don't envy him. That's not entirely true. Seems I think the change is what I need If I'm looking for a chance of a dream Sean Man Street Taking time to hold my place Yesterday's another place Just living for the time Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee so you can see more of New Zealand on air.